Hello everybody and welcome back to the railway once again. Up until recently these two were my two and only single wheelers. Uh, the one on the right here is known as the Caledonian single wheeler from Triang. Uh, and you'll remember I did a, a sort of restoration video on this loco. Um, it was well over a year ago, quite some time ago. And this one at the back here is Lord of the Isles. And I've not really shown her very much before. There was one video where she just drove past the camera and that was it. Um, and again, that's Triang, but it's got the missing sort of chimney, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, the missing chimney anyway, there's supposed to be a little brass plate on the chimney, and also the sticker on each side is also in quite bad condition. So what I've done is, I've gone onto eBay and i found myself one in a lot better condition. Now this one's a Hornby one, uh, and by Hornby I don't mean modern Hornby, I just mean uh, slightly more modern than Triang. It's still got an old Triang motor in there and it still works exactly the same uh, but the body is just slightly different. Um, well I say different, it's not really different at all, it's just a little bit more modern looking I suppose. And a tender which comes with it, I'll put that on there, is actually Triang and that's the reason why this Loco's gone cheap because the tender is more of a gloss um, finish. I don't know if you can see it too well. You can see your reflections in it, look. Um, whereas the Loco itself is a matte finish, or it's certainly not very glossy. Um, so now I've got three. Um, I'll probably still keep the Triang one because it's because I like Triang and it works and it's very powerful. I think it's pulled six coaches in the past. No idea what this one's going to pull, um, but we'll get them onto the railway today and we'll, I suppose, we'll let this one the Hornby one and the Caledonian single wheeler one um, we'll let them both uh, have a little ride and we'll see how they get on alright let's do that okay so there they are on the railway you can see the Caledonian single is hooked up to a little rake of uh, freight uh, whereas Lord of the Isles here is uh, hooked up to let's see four mixed match of coaches uh, specially chosen because they're nice and light um, because of course these very unique and sort of unusual looking engines do only have two driving wheels, uh, one on each side. Um, in, in model form that makes them reasonably um, problematic in terms of traction and all that uh, because you know being not very heavy engines um, they used to rely a lot on the magnets which are just here on the chassis and back when the model railway tracks um, were magnetic um, that is, they were attracted by magnets, um, which they're not anymore. I don't know what material they are, but it's changed over the years. Um, so the magnets no longer help with the traction. So all you're relying on now is the weight of the locomotive. And as I mentioned, they're not particularly heavy. So they don't pull an awful lot of weight. With the exception of this one, um, the other trying one, which does pull an awful lot, and I'm not sure why. Um, it's no heavier, but it must have rougher wheels, something like that. Uh, but yes, I think they're very, very interesting locomotives. I'm very, very fond of them. Um, they're quite nice to service, um, but I suppose they're a pain if you get it wrong because the motors inside these are not XO4s. Um, they're sort of miniature versions of XO4s, if you like. Um, and because they're only in these locos, um, they're a little bit more hard to come by, which I suppose in itself makes the locos themselves worth a little bit more, even though there's quite a few of them out on eBay. So what we'll do is, we'll get them running, we'll let you watch them fly around the layout. Um, they do go quite quick and you've got to be careful not to let them derail. I'll just mention that the, um, the Caledonian has a blob of blue tack in the cab and that just helps to weight it down properly um, because otherwise you see it doing this, tipping back, or tipping forward, and its back wheels come off the tracks. And of course there's only four sets of pickups because these little truck wheels um, are plastic. So it's fairly important that all four metal wheels <laughs> stay on the tracks um, so that you get as smooth as running as possible. Right, let's, let's, let's give them a try. Okay, so I'll start by getting Lord of the Isles up and running. Um, I will try my very best to get a nice smooth start off. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Here we go. bit noisy unfortunately. Okay, and if you can still hear me over that rumpus, I'm hoping he'll quiet down a bit actually, but uh, we'll get the Caledonian going. Okay. Mm. 
back wheels stuck there as you can see. So despite the blue tack, there's still not a lot of weight on those wheels. So we'll watch them go around. They are quite quick unfortunately. There's not a lot I can do about that. So if you start slowing them down and they start to lose performance. Although I suppose I could slow down Lord of the Isles slightly because he does seem to be flying along. There we go, that's a bit more of a sensible speed. Struggling a little bit, only a little bit though. Again, apologies for the mixed match of coaches there. They are LMS coaches, and it's a great Western loco, but they are very light, and that's the reason why I chose them. Bit of a struggle up this hill as you can see. <laughs> she just about does it though. She's not got the strength that the other one's got though, that's for sure. Alright, so now for a bit of comparison, I've swapped the Hornby one, this one, with the trying one, so I can show you what this one can do. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of a performance test for you. I've got a ridiculous number of coaches hooked up to it, so the same as before, plus one, two, three, four others, one teak, one at the back. A very heavy rake, and I think we can agree that it's a ridiculous load for a single wheeler anyway. So what we'll do is, we'll get her to pull this off. Move. Hornby one out of the way. We'll get her to pull this round, then we'll disconnect them, and then just for just for interest, I'll show you what kind of speeds these locos can get up to, um, which is also equally un unbelievable. Right. Anyway, here we go. Let's get her going. Oh, not backwards.
Okay, so as I hope you can see there, it's an unbelievable amount of coaches that she can pull. I'll just stop her there, bring her back. Oh, she didn't want to come back. <laughs> oh, one's derailed. That's why. Okay. Right, well, we'll let her go solo anyway, so you can see how quick she can go. I'll just get these coaches out of the way. Okay, so now for a speed test. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but you can see she's on about half speed there. And this is the speed that she's at, at half speed. We'll just wait for her to come back round. And along this straight, I'll throw her up to full speed, and you can see what she does. I've actually decided I'm going to set the camera up on the tripod here. Um, so that you can see it go fast. So now I don't like to do this. I don't really like thrashing them. And I don't do it very often. Uh, but it won't hurt just for the wounds. So I'm taking her up here for you. There we go. And I'm hoping she'll do this without a fuss. But, uh, okay, let's see. go. So that's the kind of unbelievable speed she'll do. Um, and I wouldn't recommend you do it yourselves, because if you don't slow her down before the curve, um, you'll be in trouble. I'll do it once more for you. Alright, so one last time then, full speed, let's see what she'll do. Ooh. And yes, <laughs> I'll show you what happens. And that's why you shouldn't do it, and that's why I don't like doing it. Uh, but for those of you who are interested, this is what happens. Uh, that's why I chose this straight, so that she's on the carpet, and she's not going to come off and smash into some other track or anything like that. Um, and it doesn't do them any harm, normally. <laughs> but uh, yes, I don't do it very often. But if anybody was wondering what kind of speeds they can hit, um, well, now you know. <laughs> it's really, really crazy. Um, but yes, that's that. Anyway, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this one and the little experiment at the end there. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.